Hey, this one's going to go right down to the final buzzer. Danny Mellon with the ball. He's guarded by the great Alonzo Mourning. Give it up, shrimp. You got no game. Oh, that kind of trash talk might work in the NBA, Zoe. But you're at Deering High now. <laughs> Mellon goes in low. He fakes right, goes left, comes underneath, scores. Nice play. Wow. He put six foot ten inch Alonzo Mourning right into the popcorn machine. In your face, Mourning. In your face. You're dreaming, kid. Samantha, I just flew by Alonzo Morning. You should have seen it. Danny, that was a daydream. Real life? Your foot's in a bucket oh. and your pants are wet. It's not just a daydream. I'm definitely making the varsity this year. I beat Chris one-on-one -on -one yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right. You beat the captain of the basketball team? Okay, it was on his Game Boy. But he was still ticked off. <laughs> Sweaty wanted to borrow Sam. Thanks, Mary Beth. That is so generous. Anytime. My closet's your closet. Your closet has its own zip code. <laughs> Didn't seem to bother him when he was playing dress up with my clothes. I was five. <laughs> hey, we still on for the movie? I can't, Chris. I have student council at three. I'm giving blood at 4:30. And tonight the key club's making quiche for the homeless. It's not easy being a Pepperton, is it? <sighs> Tell me about it. Daddy expects us all to do public service. I help people, I feel good, and if I keep it up, I get a Porsche. <laughs> oh. Is your leg still hurting? Yes. It's got to get better before Friday's pep rally. The girls look up to me. I'm worthless if I can't get my leg over my head. <laughs> Congratulate me, Chris. I just delivered my first calf. <laughs> Gee, that's great, Earl. Hey, remember when I pulled my hamstring and you killed me with that tadpole cream? Well, Mary best strained a muscle, and she uh, could use your help. No, no, I can't. Oh, sure you can. On the farm, we have a cure for everything. Cousin Vern wants hiccup for three months straight. Then Mama hooked him up to the milking machine, <laughs> and when she flipped that switch, boy. Hey, I'm really late for French class. Adios. <laughs> the beginning of an era. Michael Maxwell. Chris Atwater. That's Captain Chris Atwater to you, freshman. That's cool. You may be the captain, but I'm going to be the man. And going 2-22 and 22 last season, you need a man. Well, that's mighty big talk. But where I come from, a man is judged by how many acres he's plowed. Let me guess. You're the dude with the tractor in the parking lot. Michael and I play some ball together this summer. The kid's got some game when he's not trying to be Michael Jordan. Come on. I would never compare myself to Jordan. I can hit a curveball. <laughs> Please don't be another daydream. I think this is yours. I'm sorry, did that hurt? What? Hi, I'm Danny. And you're you. I mean, you're new. Yes, I just transferred in Monday. Could you tell me where the library is? I know this. Really? Okay, well... Don't worry. I'll find it. Ow! Hi, I'm Coach... Bill Fuller? I'm your biggest fan! All-American at Wake Forest, shooting guard for the Houston Rockets, averaged 16 points and 8 rebounds, once punch out Charles Barkley! Boy, did he deserve it. <laughs> Sir, I hope I'm not at a line when I say, man, you are a babe. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Samantha Morgan, team manager, trainer, Oklahoma person. I come with your job. <laughs> all I asked for was a parking space. <laughs> What's all this junk? Uh, this is Coach Phillips' junk. The same Coach Phillips that lost 22 games last season? Yes. But I begged him to use a box in one zone. Basically, what you do is you're your best defender, and you put them one-on-one -on -one against your best offense. Time out. Are you the coach, or am I the coach? Oh, you're the coach, coach. But it's my goal to someday be a coach. Coach. Lucky me.
excuse me, but th this is a closed practice. Yeah! I just opened it. Danny, will you tell this girl that this is a boys' varsity basketball? Me? Listen, you know, you're really not supposed to... Oh, nice shot. How'd you get your hand to fall through like that? What do you think you're doing? Just tell your friend here that I'm trying out for the team. Okay, so you can make a couple of shots with no one guarding you. But this is basketball, babe, not horse. Maybe here today, but you'll never last until Friday. We'll see. Babe. <laughs> Twenty-two. How did that happen? Easy, coach. They didn't have me yet. <laughs> Maxwell, right? Man, I saw you score 35 last year. Yeah, and I had the flu that day, too. <laughs> but you felt well enough to put up 50 shots. You ever made a pass in your life, Maxwell? Only a girl's coach. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna let him diss me like that? Yes, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> now, I will not tolerate anything less than maximum effort at all times. Understood? Yes, sir. It's like we tell our chickens. <laughs> if you can't lay a lot of eggs, at least lay a big one. <laughs> Thank you, Hatfield. Coach, I got a question. Since, uh, when do we let girls try out for the team? Since the Supreme Court said we could. <laughs> you, uh, got a problem with that, Atwater? No, no problem. It's just that it can get a little rough under the boards. Well, I'll be careful not to break a nail. <laughs> you were great out there. You were actually keeping up with those guys. Hey, I've played hoops with guys all my life. Do you know what it's like to be trash-talked, elbowed, and leaned on by a sweaty, six-foot-three muscle head? No, I don't date much. <laughs> what does the girl think she's doing? Like, this team isn't a joke already in this town. She can shoot. My grandmother can shoot if she's open. Does your grandmother have legs like that? Eyes like that? Oh, an elbow like that? I think you got the hots for Julie, honey, dude. Melon. The name's Melon. You know what really kills me? She's just out here to make some kind of statement. She's not serious about basketball. All I've ever wanted to do my whole life is play basketball. When I was three, my dad taught me how to dribble, and that was it. I was hooked. When you were three? When I was three, my dad taught me to pull his thumb and burp. <laughs> so, how'd you get the guts to go out for the boys' team? Hey, there's no girls' team here. I'm good enough to make the boys' team anyway. I gotta admit, I was shaking on that first shot. Well, you nailed it. It'd be awesome to have a girl on the varsity. Thanks. It'd be fun playing on this team. And that new coach? Whew, what a babe, huh? Actually, I, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. He's talking to me, Earl. <laughs> now, Mama says when the tadpole cream starts to tingle, wrap your leg up in corn husks and stick it under the snout of a pig. With Peppertons, Earl, we don't keep pigs. <laughs> Look at her. She look great in headphones or what? What's the big deal with this Connor girl anyway? She's all anyone's talking about. It is a big deal. This is a girl who's trying to make the guys basketball team. It's exciting. It's groundbreaking. It's nuts. I mean, she's a girl. <laughs> it's like she's been here two days and she's already popular. It's not fair. <laughs> no one even noticed my new linen jacket. Oh, did you get a new jacket? <laughs> that does it. It's time Ms. Connor and I had a little talk. <laughs> Julie Connor? I'm Mary Beth Pepperton. Hi. Hey, nice jacket. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> and I have heard such nice things about you, too. You play basketball? That is so cool. I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to perspire that much, but... Well, I guess it does help open the pores. But, just wanted to say, welcome to Deering High. <laughs> I told her. 
Yes, I can help you with this. I'm the manager. Okay. Take a deep breath, jump up and down, and wiggle your way out. Good luck. Chris, you gotta stop selling Speedos to fat guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? Great. Caught some delinquent shoplifting, so I cuffed him to that smelly woman handing out free samples in front of the cheese store. I love this job. You got the good job, Earl. We just got a new shipment of Persian cats. I spent the whole day trying to dislodge a hairball. <laughs> I'm fine. Danny, you never should have given up that job as Winky, the mall mascot. Oh, I hated wearing that diaper. <laughs> you had some pretty good shots today in practice, Danny. Really? Tomorrow's the final cut. Think I got a chance to make the team? Yeah, if you start focusing more on your game and less on Connors. Excuse me, but she happens to be very... focusable. <laughs> Look, if she makes this team, it'll be like a freak show. I mean, people come just to see the girl. Exactly. And after they see the girl, they're going to take a look at me. Than you. And our game's gonna get more attention than ever. You are being so lame about this, Chris. Hey, this could be a big year for me, and I'm not gonna let her screw it up. I'm gonna take you on a little field trip. Switch, Connor, but next time, get a hand up in his face. Listen, when Chris head fakes, he always goes left. Thanks. Great block, Julie! Ooh -wee. What's that on your forehead? Spalding. <laughs> Shake it off, Chris. Let's get him. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Did I hurt you? Don't flatter yourself. What are you guys looking at? Let's play ball. <sighs> nice pick. That's charging on you, Hatfield. Gutsy play, Millen. Thanks, coach. Can a person still live with one lung? <laughs> Connor, it's Atwater. Don't take anything off yet. What do you want? I want to talk to you. I'm not going anywhere. Julie, I just want to say that... What? Well, it's just that I've been... Well, you know. You've been acting like a jerk? Okay. Is that an apology? Kind of. Actually, you did me a favor. Because of you, Atwater, I stepped up my game. Is that a thank you? Kind of. <laughs> hey, that was a pretty big time block you made on me. It's like you knew exactly where I was going. Instinct. 
<laughs> Look, I don't know what Coach is going to do, but if it was up to me, you'd be on this team. You mean it? And if it were up to me, you'd be on this team too. <laughs> well, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Can I give you some advice? You need compression on this ankle. Let me guess. You've done this before? Only on Earl. <laughs> it's not exactly the same. Christopher Atwater! <laughs> Chris, look at me! You and your friend Dr. Earl and his stupid tadpole cream! Uh-oh. Looks like you have a few side effects. A few? The pep rally is in ten minutes. How am I going to get up in front of the whole school looking like this? And, and did you just come out of the girls' locker room? <laughs> no. Oh, no. It's affecting my eyes, too. <laughs> He's a veteran of 14 years in the NBA, and he's got dimples you can park a Camaro in. <laughs> okay, let's hear it for Coach Bill Fuller. All right, all right, thank you. Are you guys ready to kick off this new season? I can't hear you. Right. Now, I came back to Deering High for one thing. And one thing only, to win! And now the moment you've all been waiting for, your 1995 Deering Tornadoes! Make it. Make it. At forward, six foot, your returning captain, Chris Atwater! At center, six foot six, the tall wall of round ball, Earl the Pearl Hatfield! Six foot six. Mary Beth is gonna kill you. Well, tell her it'll only last for 24 hours. And next time, when Mama says, put it under the snout of a pig, put it under the snout of a pig. And now, the new members of your team. At forward, six foot three, the fresh freshman, Michael Maxwell. At guard, five foot seven and all heart, Danny Mellon! And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a special daring welcome to our new point guard, five foot eight, the golden gun, Julie Connor. Gonna win it all this year? Tornado! Watch it. <laughs>